Today we're going to be performing routine maintenance on our BioCube 29. This is El Jefe's Reefs and I'm the Asian 0328. So we get all our supplies ready before we even start. And we turn off the float of the tank, including the skimmer, because we don't want that overflowing onto the floor or just making a mess while we're doing this. Start siphoning out the main display at first and then uh, we'll get to the back chamber after we remove the media baskets. I put them in the same bucket as the wastewater and clean them off in there. It just makes it so much easier when you're trying to get rid of everything. We start to siphon out the back chamber and scrape off any of the little crustaceans or any algae that's formed. A lot of detritus likes to form in the back of these bio cubes, so we try and get as much of that out as possible. Sometimes it can be a pain in the butt, but it must be done. Definitely clean the skimmer cup while you're doing this. It'll just make it that much easier when you restart the tank. Like I said, I like to clean off everything in the bucket. Jeff has a different way of doing it. Here he's taking it to the sink, so... We pour the wastewater pretty much wherever. Outside, in the grass, in the toilet. Just as long as it's gone. Don't start a water change without pre-made salt water. Make sure you got new media going into your media basket. All fresh so it's nice and clean and ready to go. Now we can turn the flow to the tank back on and readjust the skimmer. Sometimes the new water quality gets those bubbles going a little bit harder than they normally do. And now you can sit back and enjoy your beautiful tank. If you enjoyed this video or if it helped you out at all, please hit that like button. And we're going to be trying to make a few videos here in the near future. Try and get one out every week. So. Uh, Sure to hit that subscribe button and we will see you next time.